Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Today I'm going to be doing a general reading for Libra. Libra, we're going to take a look at you and the person on your mind and then we're going to go to new love for you and then we'll take out some career messages at the very end. Keep in mind that these are general readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information on how to book a personal reading with me. Take whatever resonates with this and leave the rest behind. Not everything is for everybody. So come on, Libra, show me what's going on between you and the person on your mind. How does this person feel about you, Libra? How does this person feel about Libra? How does this person feel about Libra spirit? Some of you guys need to get your car serviced is what I'm getting. I don't know if you need an oil change or something. I don't know. Check that out. I don't know. I just got that in my head, so... Hmm. Give me a second. Let me see. Clarify this for me. It's like the person on your mind is either waiting for you. It, it feels like they're waiting for you. They're waiting to talk to you. They were, they're waiting for you to heal something with them is what it looks like. And that's why I want to clarify it because what are they waiting on? Okay, so the person on your mind is coming off like they have their back turned towards the connection. I feel like that you, you're dealing with somebody who's pretty stubborn here. And I feel like there's waiting for you to make things better. Or it could be like, it feels like they're waiting on you to make things better. I can't even lie. That's what it feels like. It also shows up as somebody you may not be talking to at the moment with the Page of Pentacles and the Death card being here. Eight of Swords is also here, so that tells me that this person is not coming towards you. They're thinking about it with the Eight of Swords, probably overthinking. But I don't see them coming towards you necessarily with that energy. What's your energy towards this person, Libra? What's Libra's energy? I'm starting to get allergies now. I think it's time to buy some allergy medicine. How does this person feel towards Libra? Or how does Libra feel towards this person? Libra, it looks like this is something new to you it could be or it could be that you're waiting on something new with the full being here so it's either that you're not interested in this person because you want something new and you feel like it's coming any day now is kind of like the vibe i'm getting from you like you want new you don't want to deal with old things you don't want to deal with things from the past with things that you already closed off is what it looks like here with the fool and the four of cups <clears throat> and the high priestess is what that's showing me it's showing me like disappointed with this is what I'm getting. Your energy is wanting something new with the full being here. Clarify this. Yeah. Okay. So for the high priestess, you get the empress, the ten of cups and the chariot. It's an energy of knowing that whatever um, is waiting for you is like ahead of you. So this person here, which does come off 
looking like they're from the past with the death and rebirth i don't feel like this is a new a new person if it is a new connection that has gone south i don't see this person really approaching you so it doesn't even have the energy of going anywhere but i get your energy being really strong towards future like you want you want that big beautiful relationship is what i'm getting here with the empress and the ten of cups and with the high priestess being there you know what's coming but you got to distance yourself from whoever this is is what i'm getting very clearly um what's the challenge libra i feel like this person just waits for you to do stuff if this is somebody you're currently with i, I feel like they don't take action towards you they're busy waiting for you to do everything i gotta be honest now, if this is not someone you're talking to, because I could see that here too, it's like they're waiting for you to make up with them or something. And if this is someone you're talking to, it's like they're not going to give the effort. They wait till you do it. You're going to do it all. Challenge. The challenge here for most of you could be that somebody in this relationship may have stepped out um, to approach someone else, like a third party situation. It doesn't have to be that. I'm also getting that it's just the fact that someone left the other person and I'm seeing someone leaving someone else for another person. So if you're not aware of that, that's the way it comes out to me. Um, it's also showing up like somebody not really being willing to put in the work in a situation. It's like too much for them. So I don't know if that's you. I don't know if that's them. I feel like it's them. I feel like it's them. Yeah, that's what I got for this spread. There's not really much to say. I'm going to pull some cards for advice for that. I think I said a lot, actually. I don't know why I just said there's not much to say. What? I said enough. I've been talking for almost eight minutes. <laughs> Give me some advice for those. For those Libras I just read for. I don't read reversals. Your advice is to look towards new things that give you more excitement, more happiness, things like that. I'm seeing I'm seeing that you've already tried to make something work with that person quite a few times here. And it's like you might keep jumping into it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's saying here to look towards new things, to kind of, you know, be guarded towards that situation, to be smart when it comes to that person. You you already know. It's saying here you already know what you're dealing with. I don't know what you're dealing with. This is a general reading. It's going to be different for everybody, but you know what you're dealing with. And that's what it that's what comes up here. Like be guarded towards this person. You know what this person's energy is like. And if you want new, you got to go towards new is what I'm getting for you Libra so let's see who's coming in for my single Libras single Libras who's coming in for my single Libra who's coming in towards my single Libras That's good energy. Okay, Libra. I'm seeing a fling. Is what I'm seeing coming in for you. I'm not seeing anything necessarily, you know. I mean, it could turn into something maybe. 
This could be somebody at the workplace with the Page of Pentacles being here. Um, it doesn't have to be that. It could also be like friendly communication. Page of Pentacles is not that hot and heated energy like, you know, sexting or anything. It's just friendship. It's just like, how are you doing today? How have you been? That kind of a, a messaging. And then you get the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups. So this person is here for a good time. This person has good vibes. This person looks to be fun. They look to be like someone who likes to enjoy themselves, probably having multiple people. So basically what I'm trying to say here is like this person coming into your life next could be a, just a friend and it could escalate to something more, but I wouldn't see that as somebody completely serious with the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups. No, I would see that as somebody who's here for a good time. So if you need a good time, your next person, Libra, looks like they're bringing in that energy. Clarify this for me. I want to see why just a good time. That always happens to me. And I'm not taking any of those cards. Disrespectful is what that is. So... Clarify the Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and Three of Cups. Okay, so you're going to be dealing with somebody who's a commitment phobe. And this person's a commitment phobe. What I'm seeing here is that they're happy alone. They're happy by themselves. They're afraid of getting hurt. So they only kind of engage in limited connections to have fun. So if you feel like you're in a place where you want to have fun too and you're not really tied up to the outcome and you're not trying to make this person be in a relationship with you, this looks like a really fun connection. It looks like you could have a lot of fun with this person. Um... But I see this person keeping their independence, even though they are interested in you. This person comes off as attracted to you, wanting to get to know you. I don't see anything going slow here. So what's your energy towards this person when you meet them? I don't see anything going slow here. That's for sure. Your energy towards them is no, no movement. I don't see you moving towards this person. I see you still kind of like some of you guys, you don't move towards this person because you do have feelings for them and you realize that they might have similar energy to somebody in your past that is like not really serious. And that's what I'm getting for some of you. For others of you, it's like you don't move towards this person because you do want something more serious and you realize it's not with them. I think I just said that. Oh, no. Exception being that this doesn't remind you of somebody from the past. It doesn't have to remind you from someone of the past. So what I am seeing is like you have feelings for them with the Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands when this comes around. But I don't see you moving towards them. The Eight of Wands is somebody who's not moving. They're kind of stuck there. They're kind of scared. So that's the energy I'm seeing with you when this person comes in. There's no point in being scared. I mean... You just, you just have to be smart with what you're going into. If you know somebody doesn't have the energy to return uh, affection, don't feel obligated to have to give affection. You don't have to do that. Clarify these cards for me. that's so funny <laughs> you're giving me the same energy that i got in the last spread it's like waiting for something new waiting for something more balanced for you so i feel like the libra i'm reading for doesn't want to play games you just want something that's serious towards you i'm seeing you like really looking for new i'm seeing you waiting for the right thing to come along You're not moving towards this person because you don't feel like the devil at the bottom of the deck. 
because you don't feel like they possess the right energy for you at the moment. Advice for this connection? Let me get two more. Okay. Okay, Libra. I am getting a message here. Your advice is to not overthink things when it comes to this. Um... It's okay to be attracted to somebody and not be on the same page as them. Because I feel like you're in a place where you're trying to be more stable. Where you're trying to have something more nurturing to you. And the person you meet does not have that energy. The person you meet has a very fun energy. Very player energy. Very good looking person. Um, but they you might be very attracted to them to the point where you want something serious i'm not seeing this person wanting something serious so your advice is to let things roll the way they're supposed to if it's meant for you and this person to connect on a friendship level or anything beyond that you will but you can't expect anything out of this is what i'm getting here because you you're gonna real you're gonna see the red flags of someone who's a player basically you're going to see their red flags you're going to see certain behaviors you've noticed in the past and that's your red flags that hey this person's not the one and then i see you going into deep thought you don't have to do that when somebody is showing you who they are you just got to pay attention to it what is there to think about try not to do that to yourself try not to overthink what you saw what you saw is what you saw how they acted is how they acted take it for what it is i'm not seeing you guys on the same page even though there is potential here there's only real potential if both of you guys are on the same page and you're not on the same page. Somebody here is a player while well, I feel like you're not. It could be the other way around. Switch energies if it applies, but this is a general reading. So that's what I'm getting with you and the new person. However, it could be fun. So don't get, you know, don't get too lovey-dovey with this person if you see that that's not the vibes. Okay, career. Any money messages for my Libras? Okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing you guys get some kind of a status. Excuse me, my nose is itchy. I see you guys getting some kind of a status wherever you're working at, but there is some kind of a competition to get there. So some of you guys could be up for, for a promotion, and I'm, I'm guessing that you're a good contender for this promotion, but there are other people in the mix who might want that position. Now, if that doesn't apply to you, I am getting that you're really happy where you are right now and there's people around you that are not. Clarify this. Clarify the star for me. There might be something hindering you from getting to your goals. This comes out as the devil. The devil is usually toxic behavior. But in this, in this, the way I'm seeing it now, I'm seeing it as maybe overspending because I am doing a career, uh, career reading. So this 
is coming out like there could be some overspending here or some bad habits keeping you from saving money keeping you from your goals i feel like you could have some and don't get mad at me okay libra i'm gonna say the word immature you can have and if you don't you don't you know that part of the message is not for you but you could have some immature ways of spending money and that's okay i'm telling you this so that you can get yourself on a better budget you can get yourself some stuff written down so you could have some ways of you know some kind of outline of how to spend something something because i'm seeing overspending here is what i'm seeing overspending i'm seeing you doing a lot of work gain, gaining money and and being really good at whatever it is you do and then overspending your money so try not to do that with the devil showing up it could be spending too much on you know the little drink or smoke or even partying or casino like gambling the devil represents addictions it could even be spending on food on too much food it could be anything like that but that's what i'm getting here overspending Even though I do see you doing really well at your job, you do get popular. You have the popular card here with the star. That means that you're doing really well. Some of you guys are getting over heartache. Some of you guys are going through like a spiritual awakening or you're you're getting over some heartache you're healing your heart space your emotions feel like you're growing spiritually is what this is telling me too so for that to come out in your career spread i feel like some of you guys could have a spiritual business you might be working on i feel like this whatever it is that you're working on is tied to pain that you've had in the past so you're showing up as the empress as this being like something really good for you to do and channel your energy into so that's good for some of you that could be a way of making money so just the fact that i even said that during a career spread it's one of those things where that could make you money. Some of you guys could be like chiropractors or into Reiki or into something like that is what I'm seeing here. Or you should get into it if it was on your mind and it's something that I just confirmed for you. That I confirmed for you. I don't know if I said that right. Okay, let me get the five of wands. You also may have a business idea that you want to get off the ground. I feel like this could be something that you've been thinking about here with the judgment card. Judgment card usually comes in to kind of, um, it's judgment. So that means you've already made some kind of a decision on it. This is like another decision is the way I see that card. So it could be that you haven't been working towards your own thing and it's really going to bother you coming up. You're really going to feel like it's something you want to do. A lot of you guys have a business idea that you're not working towards. And I see that kind of like picking at your brain. I'm seeing that picking at your brain and you wanting to go in a new direction and you wanting to start something brand new. If you decide to do that, I'm seeing things probably being better off for you towards the end of this year. And I usually don't get timing like that in my big general readings like that. But I am getting that here. On the other career messages, we get three more cards. Any advice? Make sure you're not keeping up with just appearances. 
when it comes to things you know save your money I'm not going to tell you what to buy, but if you're one of those people who are very much into your name brands and stuff like that, I'm seeing that kind of putting a damper on your finances because it's saying here, you know, don't try to flex too much when your money's not flex ready. Um, now, if your money is flex ready, fine, but who are you flexing for? That's what it says here. Who are you flexing for with the six of wands and the five of swords? I want to know because... Whoever it is you're trying to make a good impression of, them name brand stuff or whatever it is, it, you're going to get somebody who wants to put their hand in your pocket. So unless that's what you want, don't flex like that is what I'm getting as advice. Like, take that for what it is. You don't like it. Don't, don't take the advice then. That'll be okay. I will live another day, I promise. And so will you. So that is your messages Libra I hope you enjoyed your reading if you did hit the like button subscribe for me and I hope to see you in the next one bye